Hey, I'm Arianita La Gringa and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And you might be wondering, Arianita, why are you sitting on your bed? Well, in today's video, I will teach all of you household chores in English. And household chores are everyday tasks we do around the house. And I'm first going to start with my bedroom. I want to change my sheets and then I will move to different rooms around my apartment. Well, let's start cleaning the house because I want to begin the year with a fresh start. This is my bed and I am in my bedroom. Bedroom. So the first thing I'm going to do to clean my room is change my bed sheets because these are my bed sheets and they may look very clean, but if you look closely, there may be a lot of dirt or hair because I live with two pets. I live with my puppy and a kitten and it gets pretty dirty. So I like to clean my bed sheets at least once a week because I have pets and I like to start my week with fresh sheets. First, I'm going to start off with the pillowcases. So I'm going to change the pillowcases. Now I'm going to change the top sheet and the fitted sheet. Now all you can see is my mattress. This is my mattress and I'm going to take my sheets and my pillowcases downstairs and do some laundry. In this cabinet, I have another set of clean and fresh bed sheets. So while I am washing my white bed sheets that are dirty, I can put a fresh and clean set on my bed. Now it's time to make the bed. Let's make the bed. I just made my bed. I arranged my bed and it looks clean and tidy and it smells great. Let me know down below when you guys change your bed sheets and do you guys make your bed every morning? Let me know. Now I'm going to teach you another household chore in another room. Let's go. Now I'm in my living room and I've got to be honest with you guys, it's a mess. There is clutter on the ground and now I'm going to clean up or remove the clutter in this space. So I have a bunch of dog toys and cat toys on the ground. So I'm going to pick up these items and put them in a bin. And since I have two pets, I know they always run around, so they made a mess. And I'm going to arrange these pillows and put them back on my couch. Now I'm going to put my slippers away in the closet. These are dog and cat toys. These are not toys for little kids. And as you can see, my kitten is interested in playing with these toys. But because I want to tidy up my living room, I'm going to put these toys in this bin. Excuse me, Rao. Thank you. I'm going to put these toys in the bin. And now my living room looks very clean and tidy and there is not a mess on the floor. Now, can you tell me what this is called? It's a long stick and there are bristles on the bottom of the stick. This is called a broom. Broom. And you use the broom to sweep the floor. I am sweeping the floor. So I like to sweep the floor every single day because I live with two animals. There's a lot of hair on the floor and when I'm cooking in the kitchen, there might be crumbs on the floor. I sweep up the dust or debris with the dustpan. This is a dustpan. I just swept up a small area right here, but now it's time to complete my household chore and sweep my whole apartment. I just finished sweeping up my whole apartment. I swept the living room area, the kitchen, and my bedroom and bathroom. Before sweeping, it looked pretty clean, but after sweeping everything up, you can see how dirty it is. You can see there's dust on the floor, Christmas bristles or needles, because I still have my Christmas tree up. Now I'm going to sweep up the dust again on the dustpan since I finished sweeping my whole apartment. 
And now I'm going to throw this away in the trash can. And it looks like my garbage can is full of trash. And now I'm going to teach you the third chore, taking out the trash. This is a trash can, or you can call it a garbage can. And it's pretty full, so now I'm going to take out the trash. This is the garbage bag, and I have to tie this. Well, it just broke, <laughs> but I have to tie this and I will take it outside. I live in an apartment building, so there are a bunch of people living next to me. So we throw our trash outside in these trash cans. There we go, I just threw the trash in the trash can. And now let's go back inside because it's pretty cold and I'll teach you the fourth household chore. Before teaching you all the fourth household chore, I have to put the clean trash bag in the trash can. Now I am going to teach you the fourth household chore. Can you all tell me how do I clean my living room rug? Or if you don't have hardwood floors in your house, how would you clean carpet? Do you sweep the carpet or the rug? No, you would use this. This is a vacuum cleaner, vacuum cleaner, and it cleans carpet, but it can also clean hardwood floors. So I normally use this because I have to clean my rug in my living room and it'll vacuum up all the dirt, hair, and dust on the rug. When I vacuum my rug in my living room, I like to move things aside like this chair. That way I have more space to vacuum. Before vacuuming the rug in my living room, I like to use this Pet Fresh Odor Eliminator because I do have two pets. So I use this Pet Odor Eliminator so the rug doesn't smell bad. And I have to make sure to pour it all over my rug now that I've put the Pet Odor Eliminator on my rug, I can finally start vacuuming. I will turn on the vacuum with this power button and it's really loud. And now it's time to start vacuuming. So I just vacuumed up all the dust and the hair from my rug and all the dust and hair particles are inside this vacuum cleaner and now I have to empty this in the trash can. Now I'm going to empty this container in the trash can. Now that this container is empty, I'm going to attach it back to the vacuum cleaner, hook it back up. And now it's time to put this back in the closet because I'm finished vacuuming my rug. After vacuuming the rug, the next thing to do is to clean this glass table. Well, to clean a glass table, you need two items. You need glass cleaner, glass cleaner, and you need a roll of paper towels, paper towels. So before cleaning this glass table, I have already moved the things that were on the table, like decorations. Now it's time to clean the glass table. I have to take off the cap from the glass cleaner and I have to press down this nozzle and spray it on the table. And then I will tear off one paper towel and then wipe down this table I just finished cleaning and wiping down this glass table and now I have to wipe down and clean the mirror. This is a mirror and I clean the mirror with glass cleaner and a paper towel. I am spraying the glass cleaner on the mirror and now it's time to wipe the spray on the mirror. I am cleaning the mirror. I just finished cleaning the mirror. I wiped it from the top to the bottom and now it looks so clean. There aren't any smudges and now I can take a picture. <laughs> I am taking this video seriously 
So I'm going to deep clean my apartment and another way to clean something is to polish. So I'm going to show you guys how to polish something like a TV stand. To polish something makes it shiny. Well, I'm going to use this rag. I will spray this pledge, this is pledge, and this will make my TV stand shinier. I'm spraying this onto the rag. When you polish something, you make it shinier. So I'm going to lift this sound bar and wipe down all the dust from my TV stand. I am polishing my TV stand. And I am wiping away all the dirt, all the dust, and fingerprints from the TV stand. Now it's time to dust the blinds. I dust with a duster. This is a duster. Dust can be a noun or a verb. Dust is a particle on a surface like a blind and the action is dusting. I am dusting the blinds. Now I'm going to dust other blinds because I have three windows. The nice thing about a duster is that it can extend out and you can dust hard to reach surfaces like a ceiling fan. I am dusting the ceiling fan. Time flies by so quickly that I forgot to feed my pets, my animals. So for me, this is another household chore because I have to feed my pets three times a day. Now it's time to feed my kitten, Rao. And as you can see, he looks pretty hungry. <laughs> now it's time to feed my puppy, Ozuna. Sit. Good boy. Feeding two animals for me is a household chore. Let me know down below if you guys have pets and I want to know their names. I am in my kitchen. Kitchen. So I swept the kitchen floor. I took out the trash from the trash can. And another household chore you can do in the kitchen is washing your dishes or you can clean your dishes. This is a kitchen sink. I have a bowl, a small plate, and a cup in the sink. And to clean the dishes, I have to turn on the water from the faucet. This is a faucet. And I have to scrub the dishes with a sponge. Sponge. And I have to wash it with dish soap. When you wash or clean the dishes, that means you are doing the dishes. So I have to scrub the dish, rinse it with water, turn off the water, and then I will place this on the dish rack to dry. So this is where the plates will go to dry. But if you guys haven't seen my kitchen vocabulary video at Ikea, go ahead and check it out because then you would know what this is. This is a dishwasher, and instead of washing your dishes by hand, you can just place the dishes on the rack. This is a top rack, and this is the bottom rack, and this will clean the dishes itself. Another household chore is keeping your plants alive. In my living room, I have a ton of different plants, and to keep them alive, you need to water them, water them. And I'm going to water them with water that's in this vase. I'm going to water each plant in my living room. So the action of doing this is watering the plant. I just watered this plant and now I will move to the next one. I'm watering the plants. I want to know how many plants do you have in your house? This is a mop and you mop a hardwood floor or just a floor with a wet mop. When you mop a floor, you are cleaning the floor. And always remember to sweep the floor first and then you mop because it wouldn't make any sense to mop a floor when there are crumbs on it, when there's dust on it. So first sweep the floor and then you mop it. This is not a normal mop. So the traditional mop, you will need a bucket full of water 
and a household cleaner to clean and mop your floors. But I honestly like using this different type of mop because you only need to put one wet cloth on the bottom of the mop and I won't have to keep putting the mop in water. When this wet cloth is dirty, I can just take this wet cloth off of the Swiffer mop and then flip it over to the clean side and continue cleaning and mopping my floor. When you're mopping your floors, make sure to not step on the wet part. You want to make sure that that part dries and then you can move on to the next area. So I swept the whole floor and then after I mopped it and as you can see it's pretty dirty. I feel like this is an easier way to mop versus the traditional mop because you have to really put your back into it and rinse the water from the mop. So this is a great and easy way to just dispose this wet cloth. Another household chore that I do at least once a week or when my laundry basket is full of clothes is doing the laundry. And doing the laundry is when you wash and dry your clothes. In my apartment, I do not have a laundry room, but I do have a storage room downstairs where I have to take my basket full of dirty clothes. I'm going to walk downstairs to my storage unit where I have my washer and my dryer and I'm going to put my laundry and load it up in the washer. I just got back from my laundry room and I have fresh and clean clothes. So I washed my clothes in the washer and I put them in the dryer to dry and now it's time to do another household chore to fold your clothes. So I'm going to fold my clothes on the table. This shirt is inside out. And now it's time to fold this shirt. I like to fold my clothes, fold my laundry, because I want everything to be organized in my closet. And with nice shirts like this one, I like to iron it because this shirt looks a little wrinkly. So let me get the ironing board and the iron to iron the wrinkles out of this shirt. The last and final household chore is ironing. I just finished folding my clothes, but I have this shirt that is wrinkly. This shirt has wrinkles on it, but how do I remove the wrinkles from this shirt? Well, I use this to remove the wrinkles from the shirt. What is this called? This is an iron iron. I just plugged in the iron in the outlet and now it's time to iron this wrinkly shirt on the ironing board. Ironing board. I just finished ironing this shirt. This white shirt is now wrinkle free. There aren't any wrinkles on it. And now it's time to unplug this iron, fold this ironing board and put it back in my closet and let's go ahead and check out how spotless my apartment is. Okay guys, I just finished cleaning my apartment. My apartment is pretty small, so it was pretty easy and quick to clean. I cleaned the living room, the kitchen, and the bedroom and doing household chores makes my life a little bit easier when I clean things every day. So if you do household chores or everyday tasks around the house, your house will be nice and clean. Let me know down below what is your favorite chore and what is your least favorite chore. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and give me a super thanks if you enjoy my videos. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!